So what do we want to talk about first? So the first thing we want to talk about here is it's a presentation. Okay, so you're, you're presenting. And we want to get across this idea of, of how you present because we want you to engage and inspire your audience, particularly if you're talking about such important things as climate change, the sustainable development goals. These are really important messages. These skills go for any presentation. You don't have to be presenting about those things. But we're focusing on that today because that's what the kids are talking about. That's the subject matter, subject matter that we're going to focus on. So we're presenting. So how do we present? Let's have a think about that. So we want to inspire our audience. But how are we going to do that? Well, first off, I've put on a nice shirt. Now, kids, I know you've got all your fashion sense. Not always fantastic for making a presentation. I'll give you a bit of an example. Hoodies. Hoodies are great. My, this is my son's hoodie. He loves his hoodie. But, you know, I see kids presenting in hoodies and they stand there, you know, and usually got a couple of notes and they're like this. Can't see their face. You're sort of worried what's going on. Maybe you can see they're really nervous. So if you're going to wear a hoodie, maybe it's cold. I, I hope not, but at least, at least take, take the hood off so we can see your face, okay? Um, and, and better if you don't have a hoodie on at all. Let me take that off. Hold on a second. And that's the other thing. How's the hair? How's the hair, Sam? How am I looking? Very nice. Very because, nice. you know, you don't want to be standing there looking a bit manky, right? And not saying that you kids do that as a habit, but look, I think you'll all admit that sometimes it doesn't always come out so great. So if you're going to be presenting to a group of people, and often there's teachers in the room, there could be parents in the room, certainly fellow students, try and, you know, put on a decent shirt, try and make sure the hair is looking good, you know, nothing hanging out your nose, nothing, nothing in your teeth, go to the bathroom beforehand and check that stuff, um, and then you come and present. So we've talked about clothes, but it's also about posture, okay? So a lot of kids are nervous and, they're, you know, they're, they're like this and they're wringing their hands, they, you know, they've got notes and, you know, they're, they're doing this and they're, you know, they're moving around and, you know, you're looking nervous, right? I look nervous, don't I? Why should you be nervous? You guys have done all this study, you've, you've got all this knowledge, and we're trying to get that knowledge across to the audience. So what's really important here is being confident. And confidence will help you when you come to do your presentation as well. So standing up straight, you know, try not to slump over and look a bit, you know, a bit nervous, a bit not really interested, because if you're not interested, the crowd, the audience isn't going to be interested as well, right? So stand up, be confident. I'm here to talk about this subject here today. I'm here to talk to you about deforestation, okay? Or I'm here to talk to you about presentation skills. Now, what do you else do you notice? The other thing is I'm, I'm looking at you, I'm engaging you. Now, here I've got an audience of one. Sam's just behind the camera. Um, but I'm looking at the camera, okay? Now, when you're in a classroom or a hall, sometimes you're in a big hall, you've got seats going up. Um, maybe you're just in a, in a room where, where people are spread out there. Um, Try not to just look at one poor person in the front, you know, like that poor person starts to feel a bit victimised. So look around, cast your eyes, engage with people. Do look at them. Don't just sort of, you know, like that and think, oh, what's this person looking at? Try and actually look them in the eye, catch their attention, then move on to someone else. Then move up, go to the back of the room, go to the front of the room. Because you're engaging the entire audience when you're making your presentation. And when you look at them, they'll look at you and they'll golly, you know, this person's really looking at me, I, I need to listen. Okay, so you start to engage the audience. You're confident. You're moving around a bit. You know, you're not moving around like, you know, oh, you know I'm moving around, I'm nervous, I need to talk to you like this. Try not to do that. You can move around a bit. I, I move around all the time. I'm a natural sort of mover. That's okay. But don't be, you know, doing laps around the room. Now, that's not a golden rule, I would say, because sometimes people like to appear thoughtful and they, they do move. And when someone's thinking and they're talking, you, you, you listen to them. So, you know, just... Just keep it within reason. Don't be, uh, don't be doing laps, would be what I would say. Okay, so we've got our presentation. We're looking good. We're standing up. We're confident. We're looking at the people in the audience. We're moving around a little bit, but not too much. Okay, now we're ready to present. 